Hey, in this video I want to show you how you can have emails coming from one Gmail account be auto-forwarded to another Gmail account. Now, the reason why you might want to have this is so that you're not always having to go back and forth between different Gmail accounts to check your email um, and also just so that you can kind of manage it all in one nice spot, one inbox that you're always checking. Uh, so here's what I'm going to do. So um, I'm in uh, this Infinity M group uh, this Infinity Marketing Group um, inbox, and I'm going to forward that over to my main inbox. So this is a client that I work for, uh, that I work on stuff for them. Um, I want to have any incoming e emails from uh, in either the client themselves they're sending to me, or for their clients. I want the, all those emails that are sent to my inbox to be forwarded over to my own company's inbox. So what I'm going to do here is, once you're in Gmail, up here you're going to click on this little gear symbol. Go to settings and then you're going to click on see all settings then you're going to go over here to the forwarding and pop forward slash imap option so let's click right in there and then under forwarding let's go ahead and click on add a forwarding address so click that and then this is where you're going to put in the email address that you want these emails to be forwarded to and i'm going to go ahead and hit next here and then on this little tab, that this, this window that opened up here, I just need to go ahead and click on Proceed. And then as you can see right here, there's a little pop-up that shows up and says, a confirmation code has been sent to that email address, my company's email address, to verify permission. Now, the reason for this is um, <laughs> Google is being safe. They wanna make sure that you're not actually forwarding emails to the wrong email address. So I've got to go log into my other Gmail account, which I have open in another tab. I'm going to go ahead and log in there, and then just confirm. I'm going to go ahead and click OK here for right now. I, I'll come back to this account here in a second. So let's just navigate back over to where I have this other account. So you can see right up here, I got an incoming email from Google. So let's go ahead and click in there. And this is my confirmation email. Uh, there's a link right in here. I'm just going to go ahead and click on this, and this will confirm. Otherwise. They give me a confirmation code that I could copy and go back to that other account and then input that confirmation code. You only need to do one or the other. I'm just going to go ahead and click right here directly um, through this, this link right here. And then I just got to click on please confirm forwarding email from C. McCoy at Infinity M Group to Chris at MobileFunnels.co. So let's go ahead and confirm that. So that's been confirmed. And then I could go ahead and delete this. Now, if I wanted to, um, in Google, I could set up a folder over here and then have any of the forwarded emails that are coming in from this C. McCoy Infinity uh, M Group email. I could have all those go into a particular folder, which I might put it like in a, a client's folder or forwarded emails folder or something like that, based upon whatever makes, it so, makes the most sense for me. Uh, I'm not going to do that in this video, but what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to delete this and then go back over to my C. McCoy at Infinity M Group inbox. And then we're just gonna go ahead and refresh this because now it's already been confirmed. And you can see right now, it, the, the forwarding section, it changed. It now shows where I've got two options. I can either disable forwarding, which I don't want to do. This is the default. You always need to go in here and, and actually set this up. Um, after you've made that confirmation like we did the previous step that way the forwarding actually starts the default is for it to actually not forward but I want to forward a copy of all incoming mail to go to that other inbox and then I can if I wanted to I could keep the original email that's sent to my to this inbox here to this C. McCoy at Infinity M Group inbox I could keep it in my inbox over here it's probably a good idea just for uh, record keeping purposes just in case something needs to be found later, or if you want to come back to this inbox and uh, respond directly from this inbox, you can. Um, you could also, uh, you got a couple other options. You could mark it as read, uh, you can archive it, or you can completely delete it. I wouldn't delete it, I would want to keep a copy. So you can either archive it uh, or keep it. I'm just going to go ahead and click on keep it. And then um, after you've checked the radio button here for forward copy, I'm gonna go ahead and click on save changes. You gotta make sure that you do this, otherwise if I refresh the page or if I left this page entirely, it's going to default back to that disable. So let's go ahead and click on save changes. 
And so now if someone sends an email to C. McCoy at Infinity M Group, there's going to be a copy left out here, but also that's going to go over to my other email. So let's go ahead and test that out really uh, real quick. So from this inbox, I'm just going to go ahead and click and we'll just send an email to myself here. So. And then we'll just call this uh, forwarding video for YouTube. Hey, Chris, let me know if you got this. Thanks, Chris. All right. So you can see we got that email that came in that I just sent. Now let's go back over to my, uh, my company email from my own personal company. And you gotta give it a second or two for it to pop up. Okay, so it looks like our uh, email from the uh, C. McCoy at Infinity M Group email came through. So what I'm gonna do now is, now that I have the forwarding set up, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna create a filter. So what I'm gonna do is, I clicked into this little uh, select checkbox here. I'm gonna go up here to the three dots for more. And then we're gonna click on filter messages like these. And then, so I want all emails coming in from C. McCoy at Infinity M Group. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and create a filter. I want to put these over in a folder under like the clients folder here. Now you don't have to do this. You could keep them all in the inbox if you want, but in order to keep your inbox nice and clean, you can see I only have three unopened emails. Um, I like to set up a bunch of rules. So if you sign up for uh, like a ClickFunnels newsletter or something like that, you can create rules for all that junk to go into like a content folder if you ever want to go, go back and read all that stuff later. Um, just to try to keep that inbox clean so you don't miss anything that you actually need to know. But I like to keep um, client stuff in, in client folders. So let's go ahead and click on, let's go ahead and uh, click in search here. And let's see, filter messages like these. Uh, let's go ahead and, I, I didn't mean to click on search, I meant to click on create filter. So create filter. And I'm gonna skip the inbox. And if I wanted to mark it as red, I could. That's what I do for the, the newsletters that I sign up for, because I don't want to see, you know, 3,000 unopened emails in one of those folders. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and leave this as marked as red because this is a client email, so I, I don't want to mark it as red. Um, if if this pops up and says that there's any matching conversations, I'll go ahead and select that too. I'm gonna go ahead and click on apply the label, choose label, and then this is where I'd put it under like clients, and then put it under. Uh, a client's name or something like that, right? Infinity M Group. And then um, click on never send it to spam. And it's probably good. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and create folk filter. And so there we go. So that's the end of the video. Um, hopefully that helps you with trying to keep everything all nice and tidy on one inbox from where you can follow up. If you have any questions, let me know.